Hey guys, hope you all are doing great. So last time I showed you a video on the 390, but it was more of a stress test for mining wise, how much we can try to push this car to mine with. It was not meant to be a long way to a long term review to mine on it. And uh, yeah, I don't advise you to, to mine at the, the small power that I did, but just more like I said, to see how much hash rate I can get from it. Uh, so today it's gonna be a long term review of this unit. I've tested this running for a few months now, uh, since the summer, so uh, I think now this is long overdue a test. We're going to be focusing on mainly on the VRAM aspect of it, and uh, we're going to see how much uh, you know this card can mine uh, while keeping the VRAM close to the greens. So uh, you know, we're close to 100. We don't want to go to 110 because 110 VRAM will damage the unit. I've been having this run, this unit running since July with no issues at all. One thing to mention is that the uh, the VRAM module here, the memory module, doesn't have any water cooling into it. The water cooling is on the core, um, so this is why the VRAM is high compared to the core. And uh, here I have with me the 2080 Ti, which doesn't have any issues with memory because it's using the R6. This is the R6X, uh, so uh, the R6X is harder to cool. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna take a look at nice test settings, and I'll show you my uh, my overclocks and all my temps and that. Stand by. So now we're on the NiceS dashboard. So I put these two eGPUs together to go for a good comparison. So as you can see here, I'm getting uh, 46 uh, degrees at 104 temperature of VRAM. Uh, this is I'm using the nice hash light. Uh, we're drawing 268 watts with efficiency of 0 0.38 mega hash. Um, so as you can see here, uh, it's not the most efficient way, to, uh, the most uh, productive way to run this, but at least we're keeping the temp slow because if you're running the card at the full power, you're gonna get the VRAM to 110. So if you wanna mine, make sure you, you keep the GPU in good condition for long term. So I'm using nice size light optimization settings. I've done also my own benchmark with my own settings. However, I noticed that the, the light settings of nice hash are, are, are one of the best. So I'm keeping it at that. Uh, the VRAM is usually fluctuating between 100, 102, 104, 206. So the 100, 106 depending on the room temperature. So here it's not a very cool day today. Uh, so it's 104, but if it was a bit cooler, like a few days ago, it used to go down to 100, 102. Uh, so that's that. I'll show you quickly a quick test. So we're getting here 101 mega hash, 0.37 with those uh, with nice hash light. Uh, but if you low, if you put this to let's say high, you're gonna see the. I'm gonna apply this now. You're gonna see the VRAM uh, memory junction temperature rising up uh, quite fast. So you'll see also uh, that the uh, mega hash will go up. However. Like we said, we're not just mining here, we're not doing a test only. I'm leaving this, I have I have not left this long term for a few months, so I really want to keep this card uh, damage free for as long as possible, so I'm not gonna leave this at high. I'm gonna refresh here to see if uh, I can see any reflections of it. Yeah. As you can see here now, with at uh, 115 mega hash, and you see the VRAM is 108, so that's too high. Uh, the power draw is uh, close to 200 watt. The efficiency has risen, but uh, we're getting this uh, efficiency better at the cost of VRAM. So that's not uh, very ideal, folks, uh, for long term. Um, as you can see here, I'm running the extreme profile on this 2080 Ti. This also it's in GPU as well. Same thing, same box, Aorus Gaming box by Gigabyte. Those two are the same brand. And I'm getting it 64 degrees and I'm putting extreme. I'm really pushing it to full 135 watt. And I would say the fan even is at 42%, so I'm not even using the full uh, power of the fan. Uh, this is due, like I mentioned, to different uh, memory type. This is an older DDR6, this is DDR6X. DDR6X heats faster, so that, that's the case here. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna leave this as the high, because I don't wanna burn this card. So I'll put this back to, uh, to light polarization. So uh, please let me know if you have questions on this card and uh, let me know which settings on how cool you can run it. Uh, subscribe, leave a comment and uh, take care guys.